It's incredibly disruptive, very hard for governments to stop it. And, and you know, the most famous example everyone talks about all the time at the moment is Pakistan, which suddenly became the world's sixth largest importer of Chinese panels. And now we're starting to see exactly the same story playing out right across Africa. So Ember put out this piece a few weeks ago showing that uh, Africa's seen a 60% increase in the import of Chinese solar panels um, in the last 12 months. And, and th this is very material for some of these countries. So yeah, we, we, we're, now, we're now seeing a big gap starting to materialize between official statistics, which only count the big farms, and, and import statistics, which count everything. And, and either these things are piling up in giant warehouses all over the place, or you know they're just being put up on roofs. And if you then take a look at satellite pictures, you see precisely that. That um, you know, take a look at Bangkok right now. They're just um, uh, they're just stuffing solar panels on every square meter. Um, uh, uh, if you have a look on your on your on your satellite pictures, so yeah, it's it's incredible. It's happening faster than people can 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 count it properly, and therefore it's going to be more disruptive. And and I think. One of the big barriers to change that people have been talking about an awful lot over the last two years, you know, we can't build the grids and we can't do this thing. And, but actually that gets solved by distributed solar and, um, and, and, and batteries. 